Hey gems, how you doing? This is Fee Diamond Rough and it is time to put this beautiful lady up from Die Moon Shop. So for those that were saw it, this is the Cathy Delance. This is when she became a new artist for Die Moon Shop. So it's time to frame her. It's been a while, the drills, um, I don't like doing anything with diamond paintings until they've sat for quite a while. Um, just as a little touch on this one, she does have the special drills of the uh, roses, the gold um, and some sprinklings of some other in here. And you can actually see, it's like the gold there, the gold there, here, here, but then there's some other extra extra sparkle that you can see scattered throughout. Um, that is actually the um, special drills showing up for more than the normal sparkle. Anyway, this little lady is going to get placed onto this red board and I will quickly show you this red board. It is a, a acoustic pin board this is a 1200 by 800 by 9 millimeter um, red and it's just it's sound dampening properties it, I love this board um, the last diamond shot I put on was on this one as well but it was on a grey this one though unlike the last one the last one I rolled the canvas around so we'll go back to here the last one I rolled the canvas around this one I'm actually going to trim the canvas and she's going to sit straight on the red but what I want to do, the best thing for me, is I want to have this board exactly the same size as the whole canvas. And then I will sit this centre to it. So this canvas um, is a good guide to actually the perfect width around to get a really good frame job on it. So um, first things first is going to be the cutting, the measuring, all of that side of things. The simplest, most simple simplest way to do this is actually get that in the corner and in the corner and I just want to pencil mark where these are going so all this is going to take is just penciling when I cut this I will actually have a ruler so that's just given me the exact size that I want for this lady to go on to okay so Sorry if my voice sounds a bit funny. I've just put a mask on and glasses. I'm actually going to use a Dremel tool. Last time I cut, I did use, um, tick, um, what are those? Stanley blades. Oh. So I did use Stanley blade last time I cut this. Now this took quite a while. I, with all the work that I do with resin, I got myself a Dremel. And this tool, um, will actually slice through this easier. Stanley works, Stanley does work, just takes longer. So I'm just gonna cut along here with the Dremel, cut this out and then I will uh, come back to you. So Dremel's done a pretty good job. I just need to, it struggled on this last, hang on, let's take that off. Dremel struggled on these last bits, so I'm just gonna use this to trim it a bit. There we go. I did make short work of that. <laughs> but now, if I actually get her up, she is completely on the board. So my next job is to actually trim her along these edges. So get that off. So this is how easy it is to frame something that um, you don't need to seal. So sometimes you get done and painters where it's like you ask the question, how do I seal? Um, if you get there and you have to ask the question, how do I seal? You don't. Put it under glass. My recommendation, 100%, put it under glass. If you think you have to seal something, seal it and cover it. I've got diamond paintings that are under glass because I don't trust the drills to stay on. Okay, now, I'm gonna cut the bottom piece first. There is Stanley, 
and then you have this little one which is the roller blade that locks in this is better for your grip Stanley will do <laughs> Stanley has the long blade to get through stuff this has a short blade you don't need a long blade um, and this one you've got a better grip to be able to slice through go so that's what she's gonna that's what she's gonna look like the best thing now is to be able to work out the best positioning is to go back to the um, canvas the ends that you've cut off and just the top and the bottom I can now see that I need to there that is the width for the top same for the bottom if I go and get some pins and you also have the same for the side so you want to make sure this is that this is why if you use the canvas itself as your point of reference for your thickness you can make sure you have the correct nice surrounding okay now I'm just going to grab some pins reason for the pins I now need to pin this onto the board so that when I glue it I've got this in the right spot a case of getting the hot glue gun out and I will glue that section on hot glue gun is now hot <laughs> I'm just gonna curl this up and over bottom half is done I had a couple of drills come off and that's because I'm really rough <laughs> okay next is to do this side so this side's actually going to be easier and this one's easier because I'm coming from this angle <laughs> go she is done that glue needs to set I'm just going to touch up the edges go down okay see how I can get my finger under there I don't want my finger to go under there let's put some more glue there let's push it down and there Lift that up. yep all right so next job job is actually working out how to frame her uh, not frame her how to hang her and I'm going to do her exactly the same way as I did my last one and just with wire and screws <sighs> but let's go let's grab a drill tray two and two do need to get these even though. I 
have a well equipped car for him, haven't I? All right. There we go. And then the wire. This is just hanging wire. I got it from Bunnings. Uh, you can probably get it from car stores as well. And just probably cutting excess off. The trick to being able to find anything is by putting it away. And there's certain things that I don't use very often. So when I actually do end up using them, I need to know exactly where they are. Okay. Got way too much water. That off. No, my little cutters did better than that. There we go. So, although it's not exact, it is a case of just winding your wire around and around and around <laughs> on one side's come and done well it's not done up anyway okay okay there's that one and that's still way too long This off, just to neaten it up. And now it's just winding that wire around. Not even tying a knot. Okay, hold it down, fold that one down. That's nearly ready to hang, only one thing missing. Always, always on the back of your diamond paintings. This is what I do, I always make sure I have that it. Because what that gives me, if I lose any, I know exactly what colour I need to go back and grab to replace and it also has sizes and the coating. So I'm just sticky that in. Last bit of glue. <laughs> okay, so there we go. She is framed. She's ready to go up, nice and lightweight. And uh, when this is up, I'll get Nathan to put this up on the wall for me. And then I will also include the picture of it up on the wall for um, everyone to enjoy the look of. Well, me anyway, because I'm in the craft room mostly. Okay, gems, what do you think? Easy, easy, easy. The only thing that I did that probably you might not have the ability, which is where I used the Dremel tool to cut this, but second, um, our friend Stanley, he does the same job. It just takes longer. Um, you know, it doesn't take that much. I wouldn't recommend an X-Acto knife because like I've used the X-Acto knife and the X-Acto knife is just not long enough. Little Stanley, he gets very handy. So there we go, gems. She's ready to hang up. Looks good. Let's see what she looks like on the wall. <laughs>